Twitter. It is March 16th, and with me today I've got Charlotte Wolf from Prairie Winds Nature Farm. We are doing a quick um, help for her to automate and update her, her event registrations and bring those new registrants into her MailChimp database. So what we've got right now open are a lot of things, but we've got her Eventbrite events, which she has previously entered. She's got eight different events that range all summer for kids of various ages. And the first thing that we need to do is we're trying to send out an email to her um, to kids' parents who have not yet registered their children. We don't want to keep hammering everybody on the database with the same message. We don't want to send, please get registered, please remember early bird registration ends soon to everyone. We want to keep taking out the people who have already registered. So one way to do that is to do it like this. We can go into Eventbrite, go into Event Reports, and we can click Show Event. We're going to do all events, or let's do all live events. That'll, that'll give us the ones that we, we want. Uh, select all live events. Let's make sure those are all that we've got for the 2015 season. That looks correct. And for right now, since she hasn't sent any emails out yet, we're going to just say date range is since sales started. The next time she does an update, we'll only want the kids uh, who have signed up since today's date, March 16th. So next time Charlotte runs this report, she can change um, it to a custom date range and update it for the last time she ran the report. For right now, we're just going to click Update Report, and we're going to export the results to a CSV file, which stands for comma separated value. Next we're going to come over to MailChimp and we're going to go into her list, which we will edit or manage. We have previous to this um, set up, excuse me, uh, different segments. I'm in, the, I'm in the campaign menu. Let me get out of this and we'll go to the regular menu. Go to list. Okay, her general list is called Farm Camp, which currently has 199 subscribers. What we're going to do is we are going to, I've got to tell you, this gets me a little baffled sometimes too. We're going to add subscribers, and we're going to import a list. We are going to import it as a CSV file because that's what we just exported it from uh, MailChimp as. And I need to remember where this is. Unlike Charlotte, I don't have it memorized. <laughs> I've got to go here. Probably in the downloads. It is. It's just under a certain user's downloads. So there we go. And it's called Report. And it's 2015. Where are we? Yeah, there we go, 2015, 30, 16, uh, okay, is it 57? It's a little hard to see. Show in folder. I just, I can't actually see it when it's in the list, so it's 50, the one that ends in 57. Sorry about that, shouldn't be this difficult. Report 2015, the last one here, 57. Okay, we'll do open. And then what we want to do is say that um, we're going to put all of these people in a group called Registered. Update the list. And, whoop, okay. Um, we don't really need to say which one, which event they've registered to for our purposes here. That really doesn't make a difference. We're going to skip this one. We're going to skip this one. We can skip this one too. We can skip quite a lot. First name we're going to save. Last name we'll save. And then email address obviously is critical, so we're going to save that and we're going to skip the rest for now. We don't need to match any of the rest of these columns. Okay, if we wanted to make this a quicker process, you could actually eliminate those columns, you know, before importing into MailChimp and that would, you know, make it quicker, but that's fine. Okay, and then we're going to go ahead and do complete the import. Great, so we picked up one new subscriber and now seven emails were already subscribed. Uh, they're not going to be re-added. That's great. We don't want that. But all the new people that we just imported in have been added to her uh, 2015 registered 
list. So now when she goes in to create her campaign, she can do so and she can amend the list to only be sending them to the people who are the non-registered. Okay, just to finish it up, we're looking at the list. When we go into edit, we have already indicated that we're sending to a new segment and then it matches the group non-registered and it's all group non-registered as of today's date. And so then you just go ahead and go through the MailChimp uh, selection do your design, do any other changes that you want to do, just as you normally would. So Charlotte, will that save you some time? Yes, it certainly will. Thank you so much, Kathy. Well, you're very welcome. I'm glad that's working out for you, and I'm glad you've been able to automate your, your farm camp process. Me too. Yeah, great, great job.